When Menominee say we are the land, think about that, we are the land. That's how we're taught, that's how we're taught. So when we say we are the land, that, that little living energy form changed from that Menominee guy to now to this berry bush and then it switched to, to, the, to them animals that fed off it and back to us. That energy form switches, but it's still us. And that's all it was for thousands and thousands of years. So think about that when we go pick berries or something. Those might have come from our ancestors. I always think that. I always put my tobacco out and think that we're the same as anything here. We're part of this land. We're different. We've been here forever. So that's who we are. Now, when we see this Aquila, this developmental exploratory company coming here, and they're trying to dig this and, and put this mine in to get some short-term gain for them and for others. It, it doesn't follow our, our mental thought processes. We don't know how they can do that. I was told, you love your babies, and we all know, we all have our kids, you love them. Well, then you have grandkids, you can still hug them and love them and, act, and see them and act, because you can still hold them and love them. But when you have great, great, great grandkids, and it's several down, well, you're probably going to have walked on already. You're probably not going to be around here. But does that mean you want, you're going to care for them less and want less of a good world for them? Just because you couldn't hug them and hold them? No, not in our way. You're responsible for all of them. So you've got to leave them something good. you got to leave them that good world. A lot of these Western people, these Tumokmana, they quit after they get beyond somebody that they can hug and hold. And they let time be an excuse. After so many years, they don't see them, they're not around anymore, so they think that's okay. And time ain't an excuse. Time is a medicine. Time is how the mystery gave that to us. So when somebody's sick, you put medicine on it, don't heal immediately, you need time to help cure that. When you lose somebody, when, when that you love, you have to let that medicine time work to help heal you. Time was given to us by that mystery, that's a gift. That's one of those medicines, and you're supposed to use it like this. We see now people corrupting that and using that as an excuse why they can do bad things. So, it's hard for us to understand how they can justify that. So, Native people, we see that different. I'm just as responsible for seven generations or however many generations as I am for taking care of my kids right now. Don't change. And it's not supposed to. That's how many of you, I can see your faces. I know, I know you, I know how you guys think. That's the Native approach. That's our approach. Now they want to build this big mine. They want to put this big hole in the ground. And that's wrong. Because just like we saw a few minutes ago, it is going to create that sulfuric acid, that battery acid. That's what that is. And when that sulfuric acid starts leaching into the water, into the groundwater, well, it's acid, and it melts other types of minerals that are in there, other types of toxins. So it melts those also. And pretty soon, all of those things also get leached into the ground. So it's not just the acid going into the lakes, it's everything the acid also melts. So we, we know technology isn't there right now. We know that there's no way right now that this can be built without it hurting the environment. And they say they can build these barriers, these little, these little um, garbage bags or whatever they call them to, to, to seal that so that that stuff, that powdery stuff, that, that waste rock, that tailings, that sludge, doesn't mix with air and water and turn into sulfuric acid. 
And they might be right for 30 or 40 years, maybe. But after that, imagine.